unless they're getting comped, they're losing money. They lose more revenue for every dollar they put in a private equity deal and not in the stock market. It's another dollar lost. And so the question Bro, becomes, you're gonna, the, <laughs> oh, are we filming that? <laughs> Sorry. I don't know. But who are you talking to? It's like I'm <laughs> hanging out by myself. All right, today we are at Moore Park Country Club. Beautiful day. We found out yesterday, because Tawny, bless her heart, doesn't know golf and doesn't know what aerating the greens are. So unfortunately, we're playing with punched and sandy greens, but we're not letting that affect us. Today we're with Mikey, my business partner and COO of Commune. Not a golfer. So we're gonna have to figure out a deal, some type of bet to make it competitive. Because you saw my last round with Malto. I am hot right now. All right, Mikey, this is what I'm thinking. The last time I played was 11 months ago. And the time before that was 23 months prior. Okay. There's a, ma there's a major disadvantage. So I think I need... One mulligan about and... About five mulligans. Not that's too many. And about five strokes on each hole. Doug, you, you're gonna start high so we negotiate down? Come on. How about? How else would I negotiate? Just give it to me straight. One mulligan. Oh, I started high. <laughs> <laughs> one mulligan, one stroke. Or do you think you need two mulligans, one stroke? I think I need three mulligans, five strokes. That's too many. So this is what we're landing on. Two mulligans, one stroke. You just said three. $25 a hole. No, it was two mulligans and two strokes. We're going to be here all day. Yeah. This is two mulligans, one stroke. In the end, you got exactly what you wanted. Two mulligans, one stroke, $25 a hole. Uh, you told me today you don't own any crypto. I don't have any crypto, and I heard you're hot on crypto. You want to jump in on it? Every pin high. You want to jump in on it? Yeah, I'll do Bitcoin. You want some Bitcoin? I'll do some Bitcoin. Okay. I'll, I'll double up with you. Right. We'll go Bitcoin, Bitcoin. It's going towards the sand. Right next to the sand. Mikey, it's wide open for you. We're going to see a lot of that. You got to drop another one, G. Why? You want to play that? If you play it down there, you get a stroke. That's yeah, but you might as well take a mole again. Did it run out? All right. Okay. Oh. We're all still clean up par, even with the sand. You know, the game's coming, huh? Road to scratch, baby. Yeah, I like that. Uh-oh. Dang, nice shot. I'll take it. I'll take it. You ever seen white men can't jump? I'm gonna hustle Mikey today. So we're even right now. We're even right now. Right. All right. All right. You All right. Like if I sink her in. Yeah, you think you take I'm gonna it. become an owner of Bitcoin. You know what? I'll put another 25 that you don't make this. He loves the pressure. Watch this. He made it. Oh! <laughs> Ooh, he was stressing. Wow. He was stressing. Wow. Nice putt. All right, no blood. 25 carries over. You know, I gotta tell you. Started off like really hitting the ball well. I've kind of been struggling a little bit last. That was two doubles in a row. Now I'm back to the bogey gang. All right, G. Dude, this did is the win. wind just to totally pick up on us? Yeah, this is, we're, we're playing it now. I'm gonna hit it 150, I think. That might be too much. That sounds too much, huh? 125? Mike, you want me to start or you want to start? No, go ahead. We're even? All right, here we go. It feels insane holding a nine right now. Oh, I got frickin', look at that. Oh, oh! We got a bounce. I got a lucky bounce. That was a premature dance celebration. <laughs> I got a lucky bounce. That was insane. Oh my gosh. Oh. You gotta be kidding me. My God. You gotta be kidding me. That is pin high. <laughs> oh, you know what? That is pin high. They talk about the look of the Irish. I'm not Irish, but I don't know. <laughs> Oh. Yeah. Okay. I can make that play. I can make, you're, what are you, that, 
That's not bad, is That's it? That's fantastic. Oh, I thought you were laughing at me like it was bad. No. Dude, how's this, this, how's this? What? There's so much sand on this thing. All right, Mikey, right here. Not enough. Oh! Yeah, go put the ears in real quick. Oh, I'm not getting this, huh? What's up with that, guys? All right. It gets Pressure's on. The Pressure's pressure on. on. 25 on the line. No, there's 50 on the line. Hey, yo! Tell me you thought that was dropping. That was dropping. All right, you're at 50. The underdog. The underdog is winning. Oh my gosh. That's how we play. And you know what? I know how competitive he is. This is the game's not over, G. Don't get too hyped. <laughs> you have two boys, a third on the way. Two boys. Kids are expensive. Are you concerned about the cost of kids? Or are kids, regardless of the cost, totally worth it? If you asked me three years ago, I would have given you the, I am scared at having another child because of the cost, the stress, the waking up in the middle of the night, and I'd give you a plethora of other reasons. It would be all under the ruse of how obligatory having a child is. And then Justin and I started becoming more observant to Judaism, and the perception of that changes to where you're no longer thinking of a child as an obligation, but you're thinking of it as a blessing and what it brings for you and the joy that it brings. And uh, in Hebrew, we say the balnasan, the mazal, which is like basically like the good fortune. And that just really creates a shift in your mindset about having children. My kids go to a private Jewish school and the amount of kids that those families have, is like you need four kids as a rite of passage just to participate in the community. And so we look at that and then you go, you go to their homes and you see all these kids playing and they're having this unbelievable time together. And you realize, and you stop and you realize, like, this is really what it means to be a parent. This is the purpose that we all have in this world, is to be able to have these children, watch them grow up. And look, I always say, like, children, if you take life and there's a spectrum, right, of, like, the saddest thing in the world to the happiest thing in the world, having children just expands that spectrum, right? Like, the saddest thing in the world is the most devastating by far, God forbid, if it happens to your kids. And then the happiest things that happen are things that happen with your children, and the joy you get from it is far above and beyond anything I think you would get otherwise. And so now thinking of having a third ch child is not concerning the faith that we have that business will continue to grow, we'll be able to afford it, we'll be able to provide, put the child in the school that we want to put them in, and even have more children after that is a new thing for me. I mean, it's huge. Oh, so you're trying to catch up to me. One after. Look, G. Dang, okay. I, shook, I thought I was on I, this path alone. Jen, Jen and I shook hands that day that we told you guys were expecting oh, number three. So you're on the hook for five, my man. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm going 195. Is what's showing? A little side wind. I think I'm going to hit a four iron, I think. All right, this is the good thing about losing. You're up, Daddy. I am? You're up, kid. It's a far... <laughs> I reach down there, you gotta take a knee. <laughs> yeah, it's, what is it's, that? it's freaking twisting. It's not going down flat. Oh, that's good, man. That's good. Hey, All look, right. G. That's as far good. as I'm concerned, I'm up. Uh, that's true. You're up you 50. Know? Not sure it cleared. Do you want to drop or do you want to molly? No, I'll drop. I'm taking, I'm, I'm trusting my boy Ryan on this one, All his right. advice to use that's the mulligans good. for the last I one. Mean, that's Love the pressure, baby. Give me the pressure. Well, I didn't hit it good, but it'll run up somewhere up there. Well, I told you to take a four. All right, thank you for that. I know. I needed that. All right. What's up? My swing just got soft. Did I get tired? Am I hungry? What is it? It'll it's get there. Work. Will this it get is, there? That's the crazy part. You're going to make it to the Will oh it get there? God. Unbelievable. Will it get there? Oh my gosh. All right. Land is working, Mike. Works. All right. It works. It works. Whether it goes low, whether it goes high, I don't really. <laughs> it's too much. Bite. Dang. Too much. 
Sheesh. Woo. Whoa. I thought the sand was going to slow it down, no? Is that what it was? So what's this, a bogey putt for me and a par putt for him? Good Lord. Are you giving me this or do I have to sink no, it? No, you can have that. I can have it. Oh, it's three. 75. God, are you kidding me? This is worse than P Rod, bro. <laughs> All right. Because I see him every single day, I will never let him live this one down. Please don't. If he loses to me, I will remind him of it every morning. Every cup of coffee we get, every time we eat lunch, I'm gonna start, start placing golf balls on his desk randomly. This is torture. When you're growing a business, how do you know when to put money into the business and when to pay yourself? Ooh. This is a question you and I were talking about today. We're yeah. looking at potentially making, you know, a little bit of, of net income this year, and we're questioning if we're gonna increase salaries or if we're gonna bring new people on. Yeah. I guess it's a question of if you want to be rich or you want to be wealthy. Explain. Are you just seeking income so you can have more to spend and more, another vacation to take or you know, another car to buy? Or are you trying to invest in something that's going to create long-term wealth to the point where you not are a consumer of the goods, but you now become an owner of those very goods that you want to consume? And if you ever want to be that person reinvesting in yourself is the way to get there. By us, I mean, look, I want the money, right? As do you, we both want to take the money home for ourselves, to be able to do with it what we want, but we know the aspirations of the company. We have a staff of at least 10 people we wanna hire over the course of the next year. We have at least two verticals that we wanna launch under Commune. How do we do that if we take the money ourselves? And so. It is a very difficult decision. I mean, I'm saying it as, as if it's almost, you know, an easy one. It's a no brainer. It's far from it. I want the money. I want the money to be able to do a lot of things that we've been holding off on as we started to build this business. And finally, we come into a year where money's going to come in. I'm going to have to, you know, make that tough decision, <laughs> tough decision between us and the partners, because I think every one of us wants income for ourselves because we all have personal things we want to be able to go out and do. But do we defer? The gratification for a little bit longer? I mean, when has immediate gratification ever been more beneficial than long-term discipline? I mean, it just, it's been proven time and time again. Yeah, that, that's, I think, I think the important part is it's easy to talk about these points on paper and these hypotheticals and buy when the market's down and, you know, delay gratification. But when you're put in the situation, it is, it's very difficult. Yeah, like, I mean, think about the conversations we, we're going to have to have with our wives that we're, taking the, the net income of the company oh, Jen. and, and oh. having to reinvest it as opposed to going out and, you know, doing the stuff that we wanted to do. I mean, God bless them. Both of them have been so patient and been such good supporters of ours. I'm going to have to make sure Jen doesn't see this video. <laughs> My back's against the wall. It's 170. I'm down 75. You want to up the ante on this one? No. It'd be ridiculous. Why would I do such a thing? Oh, that's right. Dollies. You want to add it? We'll go 50 on this I'll one? I'll give you 50 on this one. So then you're still winning. Correct. Let's do it. 50 up. You're first. You have two mullies. Is that an yeah, iron? wind's helping. No, I think it's going to be a six one. You think? Hybrid. Hybrid? Get it over the water. All right. Damn, I'll give you guys a percentage after I... Oh, no, I'm still down. Gosh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mikey. You're looking good here. It's really no pressure. I don't want to say I told you so, but I told you so, bro. Yeah, but I still have two mulligans, so I got two more shots. Yeah, you can. That's a chip on. Do you want to hit or do you want to play? The mulligans are used here. Yeah, that's fine. So I'll, if you use I'll this take my, one. I'll take my three shots here, and when I get there, I'll choose which one I want to play. Not how it works. If you drop a mole, you're forfeiting that one. Oh. So that's the decision you have to make. And you do get a stroke. All right, let's try this again. See if I can do it. See, this shows who really has his back. I'm setting him up to succeed. I don't know what you guys are doing. I don't know what you guys are doing. I don't know, man. Ryan's had good recommendations all day long. I can't hate him on that one. Oh. 
I'll take that. I told him all, dude. <laughs> I told him all, dude. I love him. I love this man. It's like I'm getting <laughs> hustled today. You ever see white men can't jump? I'm gonna hustle Mikey today. This is like a full-blown hustle that's happened today. I think the mounting pressure has reached a pinnacle to where he's actually gonna rise to the occasion. The man will perform when put when his back is put into a corner. Eight. Can you get a six? Is it an eight, you think? I tried to swing it too hard and pulled it. <laughs> Not happy. Not happy. Last last round I thought it was a turn for me. I, I left off that high. But I told you this has been an emotional roller coaster. This is a low. This is a low that I've never experienced before. This is just, I feel like I've been taken advantage of. You know what the funny thing about this is? You're saying you're at, it's at a low. For me, <laughs> it's at a high. So at the end of the day, it's even Steven. And because we're partners, it washes each other out. Welcome to your first crypto investment. <laughs>